Hi everyone, how are you today? I hope you are healthy. Today I will read an interesting article written by Gary D. Barnett, entitled, I love my country, my country is best. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. Nationalism of one kind or another, was the cause of most of the genocide of the 20th century. Flags are bits of colored cloth that governments use first to shrink wrap people's minds, and then as ceremonial shrouds to bury the dead. Aaron Dottie Roy Ah, nationalism and patriotism, the scourge of all mankind. Just the thought of these terms brings to mind a telling song by John Prine, your flag diesel won't get you into heaven anymore. I have long considered the heinous nature of nationalism and patriotism an affront to all things good in life, merely excuses for hate, hypocrisy, gross arrogance, and committing atrocities against innocence on a massive scale. Most countries' peoples tend to think well of themselves, a natural phenomenon, and in many cases, they think they are the best, but, no country's population on earth has ever taken this position to any such obscene extreme, exceeding that of the people of the United States of America. This insane position consumes many if not most in this country today, even though this is a time of hating any traditional history or moral structure ever to exist. They believe this, simply because they are here by an accident of birth, and nothing more. This useless attitude has brought nothing but brutality, massacre, aggressive war, and the slaughter and murder of others around the world, and left this country and the rest of humanity much worse off than imagined. No one can even define what it means to love a country or hate a country, mainly because it means nothing. When the rulership uses these terms, it is meant as a trick to fool the people into supporting the state and its governing forces. When the common dolts use these terms, it means a support for all that government does right or wrong, but since governments cannot do right, it really means that the people who claim to be patriots and nationalists support most all government action that is heinous and wrong. This is the essence of horrific nationalism and the antithesis of independence and freedom. This is why those who claim to be patriots and nationalists usually have no clue as to what they speak. Before some of you have a cow, let me clarify a few things. First, I have rarely, if ever, heard any say, I love my country, who were simply referring to nature, the landscape, or the societal herd. It is almost always said as a political statement, and in many cases, it is in direct relation to support for aggressive war or egotistical exceptionalism, neither of which are legitimate. In addition, these terms are used as weapons against any who do not owe the line of worship for the state and all the evil it does in the name of its captive citizens. There are even firm rules as to how the blood-soaked cloth called the flag must be treated and respected, as if it were a living being, instead of a hideous symbol of a nation-state and its totalitarian government. These vile terms also indicate that one must support without question the brutal escapades of the murderous military, who will kill anything or anybody on orders from the state and its military heads running the war machine. Every single American should know, but they do not, that any real patriot would negate, disobey, dissent, fight against the state and its government, and never blindly support it. No real patriot would ever kill anyone on orders, and would only use force for actual self-defense, not to prop up the state's power and fill the coffers of the profiteers of war. In my case, I would never support any state, government, any governing entity of any kind, any war, or any rule for any reason. I guess that would make me the ultimate patriot, but I so abhor that label. The mere mention of it turns my stomach because it is so misunderstood and misused. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you learned something. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so you won't miss any update. Finally, watch until the end to avoid any misunderstanding. Thank you. There are those out there who say that they love their country, but not its government. This confusing statement is usually meant as an attempt for one to separate himself, so as to take both sides at once, and more times than not, I have heard several politicians attempt this strategy. That is telling, as they are already a part of the state, but feign disgust while remaining in their position of power in the state hierarchy. As you can clearly see, this is just blatant hypocrisy. 
How many of you have ever said to others that you love your country? When you said it, what did you really mean? How did you justify claiming the country was yours? Did you claim ownership of the country because you were born here, or were able to move here by gaining permission from a heinous government to be a captured, indentured, and taxed citizen slave? Or like the majority who might say these words, were you saying this to show that you accept this country's existence and its activities good or bad? This country's government has been warring aggressively for nearly its entire history over almost 250 years, causing the death of tens of millions of innocents, and more likely, is responsible for hundreds of millions of maimings and death over time. Carpet bombings and chemical and biological weapon releases against civilians worldwide has been a mainstay, whether in Germany, Japan, Korea, Vietnam, and the Middle East, and now of course in Palestine the death or slaughter by sanction of 500,000 Iraqi children under the age of five years was lauded by Secretary of State Madeleine Albright, your government representative, as worth it, as loudly announced to the world without pause or concern. All of you have been lied to, abused, stolen from, had your <laughs> as cannon fodder, and had your lives torn apart by this country's governing system, and yet, you still scream out love of country, while waving a flag of death. Recently, you have been held in prisons, lost your jobs, and watched as intentional inflation is devastating the entirety of this population, with of course, the exception of the rich and powerful, who continue to revel in your misery as they get wealthier while taking over the world. I have not even scratched the surface of all the horrors of government, all governments, that are supported by clueless populations seeking false protection and dependency, will clinging to mass indifference, pretending not to see the terror committed in their name. Many will think this view too extreme. But is it really? I think not, as one honest look at this country and the world today should send shockwaves of terror throughout all societies, as humanity sinks deeper and deeper into the abyss of an immoral and empty existence, consumed by hate and mass slavery to the state. This world today, is little more than one after another concentration camp, filled with people who have been taught and conditioned to give up everything to their masters. They languish in the <laughs> of rule, labor for the benefit of the state, while discarding their own sovereignty in favor of obedience and reverence to their masters. All wars are civil wars, because all men are brothers. Each one owes infinitely more to the human race than to the particular country in which he was born. Francois de Salignac de la Mothe Fenelon. Now, it's time for me to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it interesting or informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. Remember, the more people know about these important topics, the better. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable, and have helped shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit the subscribe button, and turn on notifications to be notified when the next video is uploaded. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.